Hello, vinyl community. With apologies, I'm here to make another video. This will be recent finds, actually thrift store finds, number 18 again. As many of you pointed out, <laughs> the video wouldn't play. In fact, I just tried to play it and it just froze at the beginning and that was it. I got nothing out of it. Let me turn this down. That's a little better. So I apologize to anybody that tried to watch that video. I had no idea. I don't watch them. <laughs> I just put them up. Um, so I'm making it again. Um, I'll try to do it the same, the same as I did from what, from memory and all of that. Um, so how's everybody doing? Sorry about that. I really, um, I feel bad about it actually. Um, I don't like people wasting their time. I don't like wasting my time, and I don't want anybody else wasting the time. But right now, it's um, Friday night, and um, tomorrow is Record Store Day. So I didn't do that on that, but I want to talk about Record Store Day just a second. Um, I hope you guys all find what you're looking for first, and I look forward to watching your videos. I have to work. So I will not be participating in Record Store Day unless I get up really early. I'm thinking about it, but there's one place I could go is like probably about 10 bucks too high on everything. So I probably won't go. But um, I will tell you the four things that I would like to find. Um, and I am planning on going to two places that generally have a lot left over late next week. Um, I hope to find um, the Fleetwood Mac Alternate Tusk album. I would like to get that. Big Stars Columbia Complete. That is definitely on my list. Um, the Easy Beats album is on my list. And most importantly, I would love to find Matthew Sweet's Good Friend album. Those are the big four things that I'd really like to get this record store day. And the Ramones' Judy is a Punk single would be nice as well. And just whatever else I can find. And um, if I do get stuff, I will make a video and uh, let you know. Anyway, Thrift Store Finds 18. Again, sorry about the last one. I'm going to start off with a few CDs again. Um, I went back to the same store. And even after their half price sale, they still had tons and tons of CDs left. So I picked up five of them. Two of them were only 99 cents. And the other ones were because they were pink tickets and that was half price and the other ones were $1.99 um, started off, this one was 99 cents, the best of Keen it's a two record set, I don't know much about Keen, I remember a couple of songs it seemed like I liked it but I don't really remember but I'm not going to show you the insides of all of these but two CD set, these are all in really nice shape and turned out to be 99 cents so picked it up they still had both Dead Weather CDs that I didn't get last time. I got this one this time. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Whorehound. I still passed on the other one. The case was a little beat up, so I didn't bother. There's the back. Brian Wilson with da Van Dyke Parks. Orange Crate Art. I may or may not have this. <laughs> I'm not sure, but for buck ninety nine, I picked it up. And it is, it is a promo copy, as you can see. So... Pick that up. And two, they might be giants. Um, there, here come the one, two, threes. This is a two CD set as well. I love it when they do kids stuff. I just think that that's cool. So, that one. And um, Nanobots by They Might Be Giants as well. Um, again, these are all like perfect condition. And so... Buck ninety nine. Why not? Picked up a few CDs. And also, in one of the albums I got was a whole bunch of like two page sheet music. And all except for the first one, it's pretty cool. It's all vintage sixties stuff. And um I thought I'd show that as well. Um first one's not so cool. Remember when a song made popular by uh Wayne Newton. Not so cool, but let me get, no artwork or anything, unfortunately, but Downtown by Fatula Clark. I sort of put them in order of coolness. Winchester Cathedral, the new vaudeville band.
Stormy by the Association. Actually, is it? No, oh, Classics 4. I get those two confused once in a while. And Windy by the Association. And the last two, I think, are pretty cool. Black Magic Woman, made famous by Santana. Of course, Fleetwood Mac, I believe, did it first. And this was the coolest one. This one's really heavy. I just love this color photo. For me, this is the coolest one. Frank and Nancy Sinatra was something stupid. I just think this is an awesome piece of sheet music. And um, I haven't shown any of the insides. There you go. Nothing on the back of this one. There's music on the back of the longer ones. But uh, so they all came just in an album as a sort of a bonus, I guess. And I'll show you the albums I got. Um, there's a local paper that was syndicated across America, I'm assuming. But our local paper was and still is the Star Gazette. And I have two Star Gazette kids albums here. Our Children's Heritage. This is volume two. And these things are in really nice shape. And, um, you know, I, I just couldn't pass them up. Three for a dollar. And um, comes with a booklet of stories and words to songs and things like that. And uh, also, I've never seen this before, in, in at least in an older album. i got to find it. It's in here. I know it is. There it is. Sort of um, a, a sheet of paper you're supposed to send back and let them know what you thought of the album. Like a comments thing, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, that sort of thing. And I thought that was really cool, and it's still in there. So, had to pick that up. And since I had volume two, I had to get volume three. Uh, there's 11 of these, apparently. I have volumes two and three, and this, I won't show, comes in the same sort of book inside. It doesn't have a little thing that asks me if I like it, but everything else is there. And again, really nice shape on these. Peg of My Heart, Jerry Murad's Harmonicats in the Shrink. Had to pick it up in the Shrink on Columbia. And it's in one of these great sleeves that we all love. All of us thrift, mark, thrift store people love these plastic sleeves that records used to come in. There's a 2i Columbia label. It is in stereo. Which, kind of want the Harmonicats in stereo to be honest. Al Kyola, I like Al Kyola a lot. This is a Pickwick album, so it's probably not that great. Guitar, Italian style. Sound probably isn't that great. Cover's really dusty on it. I haven't cleaned it yet. But it's in nice shape, so picked it up. Footlight Percussion. Terry Snyder on United Artists. This is like still in shrink and it's a gatefold which means nobody's ever looked at the gatefold on this album before it's never been opened there's terry snyder which i just think is cool and um it's not a really cool um united artists label so their ultra audio series singer pre presents Project 3, Total Stereo Sound. Of course, Project 3 was Enoch Light's second label. And uh, Enoch Light is on this, along with Tony Matola, Pearl Bailey, Bobby Hackett, Ubi Green, Free Design, Diane, Diana Shore, and Enoch Light. So, pretty cool. Again, in shrink. And this one, you've all seen because this was my thumbnail. <laughs> well, if you've tried to see the first video you've seen it the rainforest walter launderly this album i've always wanted actually it's on verve records still in shrink um and it's walter Wanderley's like exotica um album and it's actually pretty good and i'll show the label it is on verve and um it's also very very dirty Trying to see if it's stereo or mono. I haven't noticed yet. I don't know. 
mono, I would guess. It'd be a little better in stereo, but I'm very, very happy to have one of these. Alan Parsons Project, the turn of a friendly card. I'm not a huge fan of theirs, um, but I had to pick it up. Um, a lot of people might not know, well, two things about this band. One, Alan Parsons started out as an engineer at Abbey Road and produced, or engineered the Abbey Road album, and maybe some of Let It Be. And um, a lot of the people in this band came from another studio band called Pilot. They had the hit Magic. Listen to the lead vocal on that, and listen to the lead vocal on the Alan Parsons stuff. It's the same guy. <laughs> So, there you go, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, greatest Hits of 1971 on United Artists Records. You can see who's on there for yourself. Just an interesting sort of album. Again, three for a buck. I picked it up. It's in nice shape. The dustiness of some of these is getting to me. The Righteous Brothers, Go Ahead and Cry on Verve. Again, still in the original shrink. Very happy to get this one. Let's see if this one's mono or stereo. This is a mono copy as well. You can tell by the V. Um, it would be V... What was their designation? V6, I think. Anyway, I think they're mono. I'm not even positive. I could be dead wrong on both of those. Uh, this is stereo. The original hit... Winchester Cathedral by the new Vaudeville Band. And this is the album that had all of those music sheets in it. So, I was doubly happy to get this. And this is in really nice shape, actually. I was really happy to get this. I love that song. And some of their other stuff is actually pretty good. Um, on my podcast, I play a couple of Coke commercials by them. And they're really good. Entertaining band. Randy. Deglack 66 showed a Redbone album the other day, and he'd never heard of them. They had a hit in about 74 called Come and Get Your Love. Um, this is the greatest hit. I just happened to find it after watching Randy's video. It's in pretty hideous shape. The records aren't in much better shape than the cover. It's a two-record set, um, and uh, I bought it mainly because he reminded me of Redbone, and I saw it, and you don't see Redbone, and I've never seen this before. So... I picked it up, but it's not in very good shape at all. But somebody wanted ten bucks for it. They're on their minds. <laughs> Al Wilson, Show and Tell. I've never seen this album before, actually. There's Al right there. Um, but I, I know the song. It's one of those really great, smooth soul songs. So looking forward to hearing the rest of the album. Also on a record label that I've never heard of before called um, Rocky Road Records. There's the label. So I don't know if this got picked up ever by... I, I was always thinking it was on Atlantic. I don't know if this got picked up later. Oh, Bell. They were a subsidiary of Bell. There you go. Smith. Shrink is coming off of this one, but it is an original Shrink. Smith, minus plus, the album without Baby It's You on it. There's the back cover. And uh, track listings there. And um, just some sort of psychish, bluesish, straight rock kind of stuff. Female singer. Um, on Dunhill. But again, for three for a buck, I'll take it. It's got an original Dunhill sleeve in there too, which makes it even better. And last but not least, maybe the coolest find, the third album by Country Joe and the Fish, Together. There's the back. And if you open it up, you got this nice big picture there. And, uh, more on the inside. It's one of those albums that uh, comes out on the inside, so they always come unglued, as this one is. And uh, 
It's on. I'll just get it out. It's on Vanguard Records. Um, it's in stereo. Nice shape. Um, I was very, very happy to find that. Woo Last video, I couldn't get it back in. All right. <laughs> so there you go. Country Joe and the Fish together. I know this isn't their best album. I did a little looking up about this. And um, apparently Country Joe decided to leave the fish and strike out on his own. And they were just about to record this album and he came back and did the lead vocals, but he didn't write any of the songs. So it's not as strong as the first two albums. Country Joe and the fish. Okay, that does it for my second attempt at this video. I'm going to go and try to put this one up and take the other one down. <laughs> Thank you for your patience on this. And um, I do apologize. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. And um, again, sorry about that. Hopefully this one works. Uh, have a great record store day, by the way. And uh, make some videos. I want to see what you guys get. Alright, take care, and I'll catch you next time.